feathers nest and they nest in flocks in the tops of those trees. So where you see one, you know you're going to see probably 10 to 20 pair. Yes, and it's that very good. In South America, when they migrate, they go to the same places as, as broadwing hawks do. And broadwings, of course, are probably, I'd say, our most uh, recognized, notable migrators because they do the same thing. They do it in groups of thousands, and it's wonderful to watch those birds go. They never own one, and they do not make their pets. Because this little girl, Someone decided to take out of the nest and put in their home. And once the bird started getting older and started tearing up all the furniture and the curtains, they just decided to throw the bird out. This falcon that we have, she's an American Kessler. Her name is Cinnamon. And I'd like, as we go around, take a look at those long middle toes. Now, isn't she just the beautiful, sweetest little girl? She will also kill really quickly and efficiently. What she does with this long cruise is sparrows are a favorite too. Okay. But you can barely see unless you're really, really close to it. Smooth beaks. Uh, they don't have that extended toe. It's interesting because what we do with our volunteers is we all do different things. Some of us just take care of the birds in their cage and take care of their health and feed them and stuff. And those are the ones that get really closer to the birds than those of us who bring them out. Oh, we see a lot of hawks. They're very wooded areas. Yeah. Uh, deer too. You guys can see owls, but mm -hmm. no. Do you see hawks? No.